Welcome back guys. Today we're going to get started right in here on the uh, Tinker stuff. We're going to pick up from this achievement on. I'm going to try to do this achievement right here and then this whole block down here. Um, I might throw this in here. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to group these together though as all one thing though also. But I am going to hit the this together here. Uh, this will kind of get thrown in with it. And then this uh, stuff over here. So that's our aim for today. So let's get started. All right, so from the get-go to do this part, you're going to need to actually do this part first. And you're kind of, you can kind of follow along and it'll kind of tell you, but just start here where you're going to need a stencil table. Stencil table's right here. You're going to need a some planks and a blank pattern. Blank patterns are fairly straightforward. You just create those from sticks and planks, which uh, I would tell you just go ahead and make yourself a mess of them. And then go ahead and create your stencil table. Once you've created your stencil table, you'll notice you've actually done the first achievement. Go ahead and store your stencils in your your uh, inventory thing, and we'll go from there. Next part for me is I'm actually going to make the pattern chest before I do the uh, part builder, just because of the way they work, like to work. So go ahead and make a pattern chest. Pattern chest is right here. You just need a chest with the pattern. Once you get that made, pop it down next to your stencil table. And you'll notice that achievement's done too. Once you have that done, go ahead and make your part builder. Part builder right here. Blank pattern piece of wood. And again, put that down. Make sure it's on the other side of the uh, chest. And your achievement there will be done. Once you've got that done, then you can go to the tool station here. Tool station is fairly straightforward, like everything else. It's just a crafting table and a blank pattern. Crafting table will just have to make separately, pretty much. And then you just take it, put it with a blank pattern. There's your tool station. Now, do not lay that down, in my opinion. If you want to, go ahead, whatever. But that'll get you the achievement done. We'll do the same thing with the armor table. Armor station's the same as the tool station was. Go in here. The only difference being that you'll need to have four blank patterns instead of just one. Once you've got that again, you'll notice the achievement done. Again, I wouldn't lay that one down. But the achievement there you'll notice is done. So for the tool forge and the armor forge, there's a little more to it. You can go in here and see the tool forge. You, you can do the blocks of iron, all this type of thing. But you need seared something. And my deal is you need seared stone, okay? So seared stone is the easiest one to get. You get seared stone from the casting, to which case you need seared stone that's melted down. That easiest one comes from petrified amber, which we can make. So just go in here. Here's your petrified amber. Go ahead and make yourself a block of that. Go over to your melter. Let's start working on that. Once you've got enough petrified amber melted down, you'll notice it turns into seared stone. Once you have a block or more of it, you can then pour your seared stone. And you'll need at least three of those per thing. My deal would be again, let's just make a stack of it if you've got the opportunity. Once you've got your seared stone, you should be able to come back over here to the tool forge and make it now. And go ahead and put that down. Ah, wrong spot. There we go. There's our tool forge's achievements now done. Armor forge, pretty straightforward, same thing. Once you've got that done, you just go in here. Armor forge, you should be able to craft it, no problem too. And put that down. That gets your basic ones done. And all this done, and now we can proceed over here. So to get started with this, first one tells you you need to create a tool or a weapon. 
Second part tells you you need to make a cast for a pickaxe. So I guess the tool we're going to make says pickaxe. It's going to be pretty straightforward and easy. Uh, to make this, so first we're going to need to make a stencil. So for the stencil, we're going to need the pickaxe head. Okay. Then what you'll need is your blank patterns. You take your blank pattern, you put it up here, you decide which thing you want it to be. And that's going to be a pickaxe head pattern. And my deal is go ahead and go over here to the tart to the uh, tool builder and look at what you need for a pickaxe. Okay, it'll tell you tool rod, pickaxe head, and the binding. So I would go ahead and make patterns for all of those. So we got the pickaxe head, the tool rod, and a binding. That gives you all the patterns you need for that. And then you'll notice because we've got our chest sitting right here, there's the pattern chest. You can actually put those in there right away if you wanted to, but we'll need those for a minute. But just so you know how that works, you can do it that way. Move over to your parts builder, and then what you can do basically is you want to take each pattern, you'll put it up here, get yourself a dill cobblestone. You can do this with a couple other things too. But you would... Uh, Put it in and that'll make you a cobblestone pickaxe head, to which case then you can take it over and make your cast, okay? For this instance, we're going to just do the pickaxe head because that's all we really need is the cast for it and all to get the achievement done. You could do this with all the parts though, just so you do know. I mean, you can take it and do your binding and everything that way and all. But for just the sake of this achievement, I'm going to do just the pickaxe head. I'm going to bring my stone pickaxe head over here to where my... Uh, Melter is, okay? Put gold in it, which you'll notice I've already done so. I'm just using gold amber to do this, okay? Put gold in it. You can put your casting table down. You put the stone pickaxe head on there. Then you pour gold. That's going to make the cast we need that will get the achievement done. Just so you understand on how this part would work, we're not going to use this for the achievements, but this is just so you get an idea of how this would work, okay? Is the way the casts work, once you've got them made, is you actually need like parts to make an item here. You would take the cast over, pick a piece of material, to which case you'll notice if you go into the uh, actual cast, you will notice it can make all kinds of things. It'll tell you exactly what and uh, if you go into the casting part, it'll there's all kinds of different axe heads and things that you can use and all and different you know things for swords and things like that too. But you in in this case you would do uh, the cast down, and we've got like two ingots of iron in here. You would just pour directly into that mold. You let it dry, and that'll give you a pickaxe head that you could then use in your tool forge to help create whatever you want in terms of like your axe or whatever, okay? Mm. You do the same for all three parts. And we're not going to use it for this. I'm just showing you how that works so you get an idea of how, how it could work. And you can make different things. Each one has a different property, that kind of thing. Play around with it and then, uh, like I say, mess with the book and you can um, really find out what kind of modifications you can do, which we're about to cover. For this next achievement, I'm going to kind of do this a little strangely. I'm doing this on purpose mainly because of the way these achievements are done in terms of the unbroke, unbreakable part. I want you to build a pickaxe, so I'm going to show you a different way you can build a pickaxe than, uh, than doing the casting style. The casting style is the better preferred way, but with this we want to actually create a one that we could do the unbreakable part with. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to need is I'm going to need paper. Okay, I'm going to get my paper out, and just the same way you can do a cobblestone one, I can do an actual paper one. Okay, so I'm going to do a paper pickaxe head. Move that one out of the way. I'm going to do a paper one out of all three of these. Okay, you can, you only need one part this way, you don't have to do all three, but I'm just going to make the complete thing paper. Once I've got the paper parts done, then I can go to my tool builder. Put them in there and actually make myself a paper pickaxe. 
To get the actual achievement done, you'll need to add a modifier to your pay, your pickaxe there. Uh, modifiers are different in terms of what you can do and all. I'm not going to do this part just because I'm going to go for the unbreakable also. But just so you understand modifiers, uh, there's a lot of modifiers in the game. You'll use that later in the game too. Um, but there's this program, there's this book you can get called Materials and You. If you just search for Tinkers, oh, where did it go? Oh, there it is. You'll notice it's right in here, Materials and You. Okay. We'll make that. To do that, we're going to need a book. To do the book, you're going to need paper, string, and the blank patterns. So just go ahead and make a book. Then that'll let you, with the blank pattern, make the actual Materials and You book. When you open the Materials and You book, you'll notice this second part right here. It says Modifiers. And that gives you all the modifiers you can do. You'll notice there's Silk Touch in here and all kinds of things and all that. But what we're going to want is this Reinforced right here. Okay, Reinforcement we're going to want to make. And that tells you what you'll need to do exactly is the reinforcement. So when you search for what you all you can create and all, one of the things is the reinforcement. To which case you'll notice you need one of those patterns again, or the casts, and then you're going to need a obsidian. So go ahead and set, you should know how to make yourself a cast here. Just go create yourself another cast at this point and take it from there to make yourself that uh, reinforcement. So just kind of going through this with you, you need reinforcement again. For that we're going to need to create a couple more plates. So we're going to create five of these. Once we've got our five we're going to go over here You put it down as two per, so you'll need ten deals of iron or five ambers, either which way. And create five of those plates. Once you have five of the plates, then you're going to need about 40 obsidian. Once you get the 40 obsidian made, then you'll be able to create your plates. And there's my five. Once I've got my plates made, what I do is I come over to my tool forge. Open my tool forge, put my paper pickaxe in, and then I take my five reinforcements, put them in here, and you'll notice it makes this reinforced. Each one does 20% reinforcement, so you gotta do this a couple times. Once you get the final one done, you'll notice you have reached your Achievement for the Unbroken, and you've also modified your pickaxe. So that gets both of those done. Okay, for this Ender Pouch, you can go in here and craft Ender Pouch. You're going to notice you'll need Blaze Powder, okay? Now, I'm going to kind of go off on a tangent on purpose here, okay? I realize Blaze Powder, the easiest way to get this, okay? We've already got this Nether Cake. is to simply said jump over here get down here and kill me some blades okay you can see them down there we go kill them okay that's the easiest way but we're gonna cover a different way to do it so another way we can do the blaze powder here is if you click on it you'll notice there's the bonsai tree you could create a glowstone sapling which I'm great with I, I like this idea the problem is to make glowstone sapling you still need blaze powder so go kill yourself a blaze, right? Now we're going to cover this a whole different way, okay? So one of the things you can do is you can actually craft a blaze also, right? And there's a couple of different ways, you know, do things like this and all. But you'll notice one of the ways you can craft a blaze is blaze powder and hellish matter, okay? To which case, well, where do I get that? Blaze powder you can just craft, okay? It's fairly straightforward. Or you can do obsidian, this overworld in matter with the coal. Uh, same thing for... The hellish pattern. You'll notice there's this overland world matter and then netherrack. Well, we can make the netherrack, we can make the coal, but where do we get this overland matter? Okay. And if you keep tracking it back, you'll notice this simulation chamber is where it comes from. And if you follow the simulation chamber stuff, which we'll do later, it's a mess. I mean, it's a lot of work to get done and all this type of thing. So really, you're kind of stuck in this thing of even being forced to do the simulation chamber or go hunt the blaze, right? Not really. 
if you go in here and you, you click on what you would use Overland Matter for, and you just hover hit the U key, it'll show you all these things you can craft with, okay? With Overland Matter. And you'll notice there's my gunpowder. There's all kinds of stuff in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on this right here, which is grass blocks. We know how we can make grass blocks, which is simply, you know, taking mud and throwing leaves into it, right? That makes us class blocks. Well, we could also craft it using this way. So later on in the game, in the achievements, you'll notice one of the achievements is this uncrafting grinder. And that's what we're going to build right now. So for our uncrafting grinder, we just search for it. You'll find it in the stuff that's un called uncrafting grinder. Just click on it. Go ahead and open your inventory way of doing it. And you'll notice you'll need to craft a couple little things, nothing major here. There's like, what, two furnaces. There we go, two furnaces and then a dropper. This should be no big deal to create, and then you can make your own crafting grinder. Once you get your own crafting grinder, you'll notice you've created that achievement. Once you have your uncrafting grinder made, go ahead and put it down. You're going to need power to it. She just put your leadstone flux stuff we made earlier. Okay. Once you've got that made, then you'll need to make what you're going to uncraft, which in our case is this grass block. So for that, we're going to need some dirt. And we're going to need some leaves. Let's get our water, put it in there, make our mud. Make our grass, okay? Put your grass in the uncrafting grinder, and you'll notice as it breaks it apart, it'll do a stack of it. You should get one of the overworld and matters. Once you pick that up, you'll notice you've completed an achievement, which is also next to this. So we've got the uncrafting grinder, and then we also finish the overland world matter. How do you say that? Overworldlands matter. Achievement. Once you get four of those or more, then all you need to do is get yourself the net of the rack. Which we can get just by crafting from our tree. Shelf a stack of that. Come in here and you should be able to make your blaze now. I'm sorry, we'll be able to make the hellish matter. And that will create finish that accomplishment. Once we've got our hellish matter made, then all we need is the gunpowder. Gunpowder, you'll notice, could be the same thing, just combined with coal. Sounds like a good option to me. So let's just go ahead and do that. Once you get that made, Go ahead and make your blaze. There's your blaze powder. And then in my opinion, go ahead and make your your uh, lowstone sapling while you're at it. Get that guy producing in that way in the future. You don't have to worry about this. Once I have on blaze, the next part's the leather, which again, I'm going to go fishing. Easiest way to do it. I got cows over there behind me. I could go, you know, make more cows, that kind of thing too. I got big pigs and you know, dry their stuff, but mm -hmm. fishing's just the easiest way, my opinion wise. If the fish will show up. Come on, fish. There he is. Yep. Hey, take my fish. Cook them. Dry him, he'll be giving me leather. Takes a little while. Do yourself that, you know, you'll need three. Then I get your leather. Once you get your leather, the next part of that, or next easiest part of that, is the white wool, which you just need string. Again, string, if you've forgotten, you can just dry, what is it, uh, cottonwood leaves? Yeah, cottonwood leaves. So just make your white wool. And then that's going to leave the uh, ender pearl, which we'll discuss. So as we covered a minute ago, we've got everything we need except for the end stone now. 
So the Instone's kind of interesting in the aspects of Instone, there's a couple ways we can get it. One that everybody kind of goes is, well, you know, I'm just going to go to the end, okay? Well, the way you get to the end is with end cake, and you need uh, ender eyes, which you need ender pearls for. So that kind of leaves you in a loop to where you can't really do that. You can make ender seed, which is good. You can make this, you know, and all, and everything is pretty much craftable. We have everything except for room eggs and pumpkins, and we need to get the dye and all. We already have obsidian, and, but there's instone. So I don't have any instone. So to get instone, I need an end pearl again, okay? But there's another way we can do instone, which is to do a casting. We can do glowstone, which we've already got the ability to make, okay? We can do the glowstone with lava. And if we're making in stone anyways, once we have the in stone, one of the ways we could get in stone is to use an ender pearl. Well, we have the uncrafting thing. So we can just uncraft the in stone and get the ender pearl that way. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to start off going to my system, search for glow. You'll notice you already have a glowstone tree, so you should have glowstone producing, or glow, glowstone acorns and resin producing, which you can then craft glowstone from that. Once you got your glowstone, then we just need some lava. So lava, we need a bucket for. We need our cobble. This time we're going to take the lava and put it in the top. Take our glowstone, place it down. Once it's done, that makes our end step. So once you have eight in stone, which you'll need to do the end crafting because it makes eight. So once you have eight, take the eight, put them in here, and now the extra terrestrial matter, you might as well grab that too, and that will finish this achievement. Grab our in stone, or sorry, not our in stone, our in pearl. And now we should be able to go ahead and craft our ender pouch. Which finally finishes this achievement for us. Okay, next part we're going to cover is the lumber axe part down here. Which lumber axe, go in here and look. Tough tool rod, broad axe head, large plate, tough binding. So we need to make all of those. So first we need our blanks. We can get started here. So we had, what was it? A. Broad axe head. A tough tool rod binding. Oh, uh, where's the large plate? There's the large plate. And then our tough binding. That should be all the parts we need. So once we've got the stencils made, then we need to make the cast. So we need to do our stencil cobblestone. Make our little plates for each thing here real quick. And there we go. Load our melter with gold and take each plate and just make the actual cast that we need. And that gets all the casts. 
Let our smelter up with iron. Or melter, I should say, up with iron. And we should be able to make it spark. Go ahead and make each part, and once you got done with that, then you'll be able to go to the uh, tool forge. Once you have all the pla the parts you need, then we'll go ahead and put the patterns up. We should be able to make the part. Just click again, tool forge. Go in here, and that should get your accomplishment done. Okay, so I left the yo-yo on purpose to a degree, okay? Part of the reason is we've got this where we would need to inflict 20 or more damage to one creature. Um, one of the ways you could do that is a little later in the game here, we're going to be killing things like withers, things like that. If you create a yo-yo, you, you, you have the option to use certain materials. One of them is this uh, man, manlium or manium, however you want to say it. You'll notice one of the uh, abilities it gives is insatiable. During combat, you deal more damage, but you also consume more. What that means is like a bigger mob if you created a, uh, a weapon that did like consistent damage. You could actually do more and more damage as you went on. But it's going to, of course, take you'll take more and more durability out of your stuff. So that is one of the things you can do is you can actually create a yo-yo out of the same thing. Okay? And that would work really well in terms of killing certain things, things like that. That is an option you can do with the yo-yo that is one you'll see some people do, some people not. It's not what I'm going to do, but it is an option. Just want to make sure you know that. Now, with that said, I'm just going to build a normal yo-yo. So. so for our yo-yo covenant, real quick, again, tool, go down here to yo-yo. Looks like two-body cord axle, which, again, we're just going to take our blanks. And find each part. That should be a body. That should be a cord. I believe that's the axle. Oh, that's an arrow shaft. That's an axle. Then, as usual, make your parts. Here's your axle. And your cord's a little different because you actually, what's the deal with the cord? You want to quit it. Use string for your cord. And once you get iron in there or whatever material you choose again, we can just pour our parts. Then once again we just fill this with gold, place each part. That's gonna make our casts. Now one thing I'm gonna do real quick here while we're doing this, okay, I'm just gonna grab a piece of iron because I'm about to grab iron anyways. Okay. I'm gonna lay down any ingot, doesn't have to be iron, could be a brick, could be whatever. I'm just going to lay down any ingot, pour gold over it. That's going to make me an ingot cast I'm going to start using too, because we're about to get into production of that. So you might as well go ahead and make that since you got the gold loaded anyways. Once you got that done though, we'll just clear this and we'll load it with iron. And then finally we take our parts and go put our yo-yo together. And I guess that achievement done. These last two usually I honestly do not put any effort into doing. I just make my uh, constructed uh, pickaxe be my new pickaxe and continue to just use it. It'll level up as you go. Uh, you can see the XP on it uh, where it says XP. And then same thing with the sword of uh, doing the uh, 20 damage. Usually I just do that as we kind of go on. If you want to make a special effort to do that kind of thing, you can. I just usually don't. Uh, I just usually wind up pulling it off during the course of doing the rest of these. 
so kind of up to you. I will try to reference back to this whenever I get those done, but I just usually don't make a consorted effort towards that. And with that said, other than these two, which we're going to complete all this together, that completes every bit of this. So like I said, I'll come back and uh, address these once I get that done, but that's going to end the video for today. So starting uh, next video, we'll be covering this whole part section right here, and we'll pick it up from there. Hopefully y'all have uh, enjoyed this. Hopefully you've uh, learned something through it, and I do hope you come back for the next one. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification icon, and we'll see you in the next video. Y'all have a good day.